Apostolic Holiness Church of Jesus Christ located in Houston, Texas. Elder James Eugene Manuel is the pastor and general overseer. Prepare your hearts to receive a word from God as Elder James Eugene Manuel minister the gospel of Jesus Christ. The Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength, in whom I will trust. My buckler and a horn of my salvation and my high top. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He's our horn of our salvation. He's the head of our life. Amen. The author and finisher of our faith. And let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 1 through 4. Uh, I just believe that God has something for us, something that's going to help our Yes. And help our belief and have some confidence in the gift of the Holy Ghost that God has placed in you. Thank you, Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 1 through 4. When you have it, say amen. Amen. Yes. It says, Moreover, brethren, I would not that you should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and passed through the sea, and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and did all eat the same spiritual meat, and did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. And amen. that rock God was Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Dear amen. God, in your name we pray amen. that you will bless this service, that you will keep us and strengthen us, yes. that your will will be done, Lord, that you will touch every soul within the sound of our voice. Let us lead this church edified. Let us lead this place with a new walk, a yes. new talk, a new way yes. of thinking and being. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Lord God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. In uh, Psalms chapter 62, verse 1 through 2 says, Truly my soul waited upon God. From him cometh my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. We live in the times right now, amen, and God is trying to tell us to have some confidence in the gift that he's placed in you amen. and to have some belief and power in, the, in God himself. Stop amen. doubting. Stop worrying and, and thinking about what bad is going to happen. Ooh. And instead of expecting something bad, expect something good. All right, yeah, Stop right. having a mindset, what's going to happen now? Yep. What the devil's going to do? Right. Yeah. Stop having a mindset that God always reacts to what the devil does. No. The devil has to react to what the devil does. Whenever you give a revelation, God's always going to speak first. Amen. God is not a backstop to the devil. Amen. Amen. The God doesn't react to what he does. The Amen. devil has to react to what he does because yes. God is in control. Amen. God is the creator yes. of the heavens and the earth. Right. If God give you a promise, all right, and God tell you something, say, you're the past, believe it, yes. remove all doubt, all word will not Amen. return unto him, Lord. Amen. Amen. God cannot lie. Amen. 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 God cannot lie. Yes. All right, and he will not lie. God is no respect to a person, and God will send his word to do the, and accomplish that which he has yes, sent it to do. Amen. It will come to pass. Yes, it will. It will come to pass. Amen. Now, you know, we have the times that I, 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 I've talked to saints, and I've talked to some preachers in, in some instances, and, you know, as God has called them into their ministry, it's amazing how they had so much doubt. They was always wondering where the devil was going to shoot his arrows. Totally doubting what God was going to do. It's like whatever God told him he was going to do, the devil was going to knock him. Yes. And so these men walk in fear. Saints of God should never, ever walk in fear. Amen. We should never, ever worry about what the devil says. That's right. You know, there's that, that, a saying that people are saying right now, and it's a good saying. <laughs> Lions don't worry what she thinks. Lions do not worry about what she thinks. Amen. Amen. And you got to understand something. You are lions. Amen. You are people who've been anointed for a time yes. since you Amen. You've been baptized in the name of Jesus. You received yes. the gift yes. of the Holy Ghost. Yes. You, your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Don't worry about what the world says. Amen. Amen. Don't worry about what people say. Amen. You know, a lot of people say, say, don't worry about what your haters say. I hate that saying, but a lot of people say that don't worry about what your haters say. People really aren't thinking about you. Yeah. As much as you think. You know, people got their own problems and things they have to take care of to be worried about what somebody else thinks. That's Amen. right. Amen. So God wants you to have your faith and trust in him. Amen. He wants us to go back to the old landmark. What was the, one of the old landmarks? When you first got saved, how you had that zeal, amen? How you had that belief and confidence that God could save the whole world. Yeah. That's the time you believe whatever your feet thread, you're going to conquer that place, amen? That's the time you believe whatever you told about the gospel of Christ, they were going to be converted right down that spot. Amen. That was the time when you believe whatever you laid hands on was going to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. But sometimes through, through the course of time, through maturing in things of God, we 
seem to have lost that. But God wants us to go back to yes, the mindset. Amen. Amen. Be mature in the things of God, but be like a child in, in the things of God at the same time. Amen. In other words, put your trust and belief in God the way you did when you first got saved. Yes. And Amen. don't ever doubt it. Amen. 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 Understand something. Sometimes people may not get healed or may not get delivered or receive the gift of the Holy Ghost through something in their life that has nothing to do with you. Amen. Nobody can hinder the word of God, amen, if you believe it, if amen. you trust in the word of amen. God amen. with all with all of your being. Not with just some of it, some of it. You cannot just go around and, and, and half-heartedly believe that God's going to move on your, your behalf when you always have a spirit of doubt. That's right. Yeah. You know, amen. I remember we used to have a sister, Brother Darren, Sister Brenda, we would always pray. She would always meet some prayer. One of the first people to do it. And when you tell her something, what was her word she would always say? I doubt it. <laughs> you said, God, go bless him. I doubt it. <laughs> she was always expecting oh, something right. bad to happen. Right. Yeah. Always expecting for things not to work out. Yeah. Always expecting that the devil will come in and wreck everything. Like the devil had more power than God. It was amazing the way this, this, this young lady thought. But you know, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11 says this. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Yeah. And it's only going to be good. An expected end. Yeah. Read the last book of Revelation. That's your expected end. Amen. That's the, your expected end. But you know, and as we go on into this life and go through well, things in our good. life, you know, we've got to go back to Hebrews chapter 11 and begin to read that chapter of the Bible. For all these people that live by faith, that trusted in God, even though sometimes things didn't work out according to this flesh, but yet they saw it far off, and that's how we've got to be. Yeah. We've got to keep our eyes and minds yeah. on Jesus. Yeah. We've got to continue to call upon the name of the Lord no oh, matter yeah. which way the world drifts. Amen. Yeah. It don't matter which way the Christian world drifts. Yeah. It don't matter even if the people in truth drift another way. You've got to stay with God. Yeah. We've got to live a life of holiness yeah. because of our holiness. <laughs> no man shall see God. Yeah. Amen. Because yeah. he says, holy God. He said, be ye holy for I am holy. Yeah. You've got to hold on to this thing. Yeah. Say yeah. to God, you've got to understand we can't yeah. walk according to the course of this life like we right. once did. We can't go to excess of riding like we once did. We can't go to the nightclubs and do all the stuff that we used to do. Amen? We cannot use profane language now, and, and, and do these type of things that we did before. We've got to make up our mind that we're going to walk this straight and narrow path. Because trust me, it's burden, it's light, and it's yoke, it's easy. It's not hard to live for God if you put it in your mind that this is what I'm going to do. If you make up your mind, I'm going to live for Jesus, you will live for Jesus. Amen? Understand something that God has already fought the hardest battle that was the fight. He was the one that offered himself for the sacrifice of sin. He defeated that bad battle. Amen? And when God won that battle, he made it so that when you were born again, you already had defeated the yes. devil. The only yes. thing we battle now is flesh. Amen? Yes. Right. We don't have to worry about defeating the devil. Beating the devil. He's already under yes. our feet. We just got to keep our mind and focus on Jesus. We've got to just occupy until he comes. In other words, he want to find us working for the kingdom of God when he comes. Amen? Yes. But when he wraps this church up out of here. Hallelujah. You got to understand, you got to be kingdom minded and rapture ready. You got to cannot lose your focus. You cannot let anything come between you and God. You've got to make sure God is first and everything else comes second. You can't have a spirit, amen, I'm only going to come to church with if I don't have anything else to do. I'm only going to come to church, amen, if I can't find somewhere else to go. Saints of God, God has got to be first and foremost. He's also got to be only, amen. Everything you see here is temporal. Everything we do in this life is temporal. And as that first song was playing, amen, how we should worship God and all these other things, I was thinking about people, amen, who are now on the other side of life, now into eternity, wishing they could be where you are right now. There are people in the the bottom of the belly of the earth. Yeah. What you think you're crying out one more time? I repent, Lord Jesus. But the, once that door was closed, it's closed forever. Since the God called upon him while he may be found. He can be made because one day the doors of the church are going to be closed forever. That's going to be a time, amen. You can come in here and God won't hear your prayer. That's going to be a time when God wraps you up the church. And for seven years, amen, people will have been without hope. It's the devil's time. It's his time to rule the earth because God has given in his power to fulfill his will. You got to understand something. Contrary to what Tim LaHaye and all of them tell you, that once the rapture takes place, you can confess Christ and make it out of here. It don't work that way. You can't tell God, amen. You can't tell the game on here. Yes, yes. It's, yes. An yes. it's an experience. Yes, 
everybody yes. else. Yes. Amen. God called us for a way of holiness in the way we walk. Amen. The places we go, the way we dress, the way we talk. Amen. The way we look. We can't look like the world. That's right. We can't do everything that the world does. Yes. We can't do things that some other church is doing. What welcome these spirits into their house. Because I'm going to tell you something. It's something about spirits that when one spirit come in, amen, he'll hold it and see that he can have rain over that, that place. He'll go to back to the back door, <laughs> hold it open and say, hey, fellas, we can cut up in here. Come on in. We can do whatever we want to do. Amen. That's why you have praise dancing in the church right now. That's why you have celebrity in the church right now. That's why you have these titles that God never made, archbishop and pope and all these other things that God never ordained right now. That's why you have preachers being escorted up to the pulpit instead of walking in the spirit of humility. Yes. That's why, amen, you have these things yes. when you take up these offerings, amen, from the word of God, all this other, all this other foolishness, yes. amen, and that's why the church is hindered, that's why the church is locked down because we bought so many things in here that was not of God. Church have bought in politics, I, I remember 30 years ago, amen, when the church was around at that time, amen, the church had a different mindset. The church didn't let itself be come up in our entanglement with the affairs of the life. In the church, we preach Jesus and Jesus only. We preach no flesh. We preach no man being exalted above that which he was. We preach the word of God in season and out of season. We didn't worry about it, amen, the church was big or not. We didn't worry about starting a mega church. We just wanted people who want to worship God and spare the truth. People were seeking him, amen. People call upon the name of Jesus, going out and laying hands on the sick, amen. Going out and helping people, amen, to have a breakthrough in their life. This is what the church of the living God was called to do. The saints of God, amen, that according to this word, according to this word that's written here, have a purpose in this earth. And that is, amen, <laughs> to be like a pilgrim passing through. Never to put roots down in this place. Wearing this earth as a, as a, as a useless garment. Amen. And preparing the people. Preparing the people to one day behold it. Preparing it for the day, amen. Where if you didn't make the rapture, if you were stressed out, we knew where you went. We know, amen, that you were going to Abraham's bosom. But not a church is preaching things, amen, that pertain to this life. Everybody want to know if they can get a better job. Want to know, amen, if they're going to get married or not. Want to know whether they're going to be rich or not. But that's not what he called the church. Oh, that's not what he called the church. Right. It's about being a witness unto him. Yes. It's about yes. being a people yes. to all the officials. Yes. Amen. Having people baptized in the name yes. of Jesus. Yes. That's what we can do in marriage. Yes. Through the Holy Ghost, amen. Yes. That is the purpose of the church. That's I right. can't tell you where to invest your money. I can't tell you, amen, where to go get a job. That's Some true. things I can't tell you how to do your job. But I can't tell you what the plan of salvation is. I can't lead you to the water, amen, to the well of salvation that God has given up to every last one of us. Yes. And talks about in Hebrews, amen, with all these people. Yes. All these people suffering affliction. Yes. Going through different types of things. Being murdered. Yeah. Being sought of son. Yeah. Amen. Going through this and going through that. Being shot. Being hanged. Being burned and all. Amen. But these people still have the faith. Still have the faith to hold on. Because they saw a far off. A far off. A far off. I want you to see beyond this time. To look towards heaven. Yes. To look towards God. Yes. To look towards that day when you're at the judgment seat yes. of Christ. Amen. Understand something. The judgment seat of Christ and the white throne judgment are two different areas. The judgment seat is for the saints of God. Where you pass out rewards. For the things that we've done. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Where he pass out rewards and he's going to give you your, 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 your things that he needs you to yes. do. Whether you'll be ruled of tens or hundreds or thousands. Jesus. Amen. When you receive your crown of righteousness yes. that Paul yes. talked about. But the white throne of judgment is where the saints of God, all of us here, <laughs> are going to be at the right hand of God. Judging all those who were lost. We're going to see people who lived a thousand years ago. We're going to see people who lived in our time. And hear what I'm saying to you. All you're going to see when they come up before you is a blood, uh, is, is, is a sinful soul. You're not going to see whether it was mama or dad. You're not going to see if it's your cousin, son, or daughter. All you're going to see is a sinful soul that cannot come and dwell with us. And God's going to say, depart from me. Depart from me. When the books are open up at the great white throne judgment, the Bible talks about that there's going to be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Yeah. And saints of God, you want to be those doing the judging instead of being judged. Amen. 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 You want to be doing the judging instead of being judged. Amen. Hear what I'm saying to you. 
The thing that our God has promised to us. He said, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard the things that God has prepared for us. Yes. Imagine what it's going to be like. If we get to the other side, Hallelujah. if we just hold on, yes. yeah. just hold on, Hallelujah. just a little bit, God will make up the death rest whatever you like. You. That's the way he is. Thank you. I've seen God have mercy and compassion upon people that were saved. And the thing about it with us that once we are born again, even if you trip back into the world, if you trip back into the world, all you have to do in a moment of time is repent. Amen. Oh, yes. 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 You don't have to be water back. God has compassion on us because his DNA is yes. in you. Amen. You belong to him. Amen. And yes. Anybody who's a parent, you know what I'm talking about. Amen. Your kid can never deny that you're their parents. You do the DNA, he's going to say, that's yours. <laughs> Plain and simple, that's yours. You can't deny it. can't walk away from it. Same thing has happened to us. That's why he says we are born again. Born again. Born again. He didn't say saved. Jesus said born again. Born again. Born again. That's the word he used. He didn't say you saved. He said we born, born again. again. Otherwise we belong to God. Now. Amen. We belong to God. God knows. God orders Woo! our steps Hallelujah. in his word. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. All of our steps in his word. Yes. Hallelujah. I love you, Lord. I love you. I want to have the same spirit of Moses. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. Moses forsake the, the, the riches of Egypt because yes. he knew they were for but a season. Amen. Much rather I'm willing to suffer the affliction of the children of God because he saw a far off. Yes, oh, hallelujah. He saw a far off. Hallelujah. See, Moses knew he wouldn't be living 4,000 years later right here. See, he knew he couldn't live forever. Amen, in the flesh. Unlike some people think they will live forever. Yeah. He knew there would be a time we stand before God. And so shall all of us stand before God. That's right. To give account of what we do in this body. Amen. Amen. But understand, to be born again should be the thought in your mind, at least I'm saved. Mm -hmm. At least I'm saved. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Yes. yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. God wants us to have faith. Amen. He don't want us to have pride, but to have faith. In the things that he placed within you. Yes, Lord. Don't walk around in fear. You don't want you to have the spirit of fear. Yes. He's not giving you the spirit of fear, but of power and love and of a what? Sound of mind. Sound of mind. Sound of mind. Knowing who you are. Knowing who you are. That's right. Knowing what you are. That's right. That's right. Knowing your future. Knowing what God has planned to do to you. True. And it's only going to be good. Amen. Only going to be good. Amen. God is a good God. God is a faithful God. Yes, he is. Always have, always will. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. And instead of looking back, look forward. Amen. Yesterday is gone. Yesterday is gone. Mm -hmm. Today you in need. Yes. Call upon the name of Jesus. Yes. Mm -hmm. Call upon the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes. Today is recognized 1140. Probably 1130 somebody will be to Without Jesus. We don't know if we leave here, then what's going to be lives by tomorrow. We have no idea. For it rain on the just as well as unjust. Things happen to saints. Yes, they do. All right? This life is not perfect because of the mistakes made in the Garden of Eden. Saints are going to go through some changes. But that does not mean God is not with you. Amen. Just Amen. because you go through some changes does not mean God is not with you. Amen. Even when you get sick in your body, it's not because you're in sin. Sometimes yes. through just the natural order of things yes. of getting older. Yes. It happens. Yes. Amen. Yes. It's just yes. going to happen. You get old, yes. things are going to happen. Yes. The body is going to break down. Yes. It, was, it was ordained to be that way. Amen. Yeah. Amen. This is flesh. And That's flesh true. cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Amen. It cannot. But the Bible says, yeah. precious is the death of the saints in the eyes of God. Yes. Precious is the death of the saints in the eyes of God. We're precious in his sight. Yes, yes, we are. But I tell you, you know, I thank God for all he's done for me and what I see him doing for you. Amen. I thank God for the way he's moved upon every last one of us, Amen. the way he's kept us and strengthened us, the way he's blessed our coming in and going out. <coughs> I'll tell you, I've gotten to the point in my life, you know, I know I can't save everybody, 
But you know, I can't worry about people who reject this thing. Amen. That's right, that's I right. can't let this hinder me. Yeah, I right. can't I can't worry about whether people show up or not. That's Amen. Right. All I can do is tell them the that's truth right. and move on. Yes. I'm yes. not gonna yes. be hindered by this, Sister Christie. Yes. I'm right. not gonna be hindered by people Amen. making Amen. informed yes. decisions. That's Grown right. people. Yeah. Yeah. They had the same opportunities we did. That's right. The water was ready to receive. That's God right. was ready to give them the gift of the Holy Ghost. But they had the spirit of demons and decided to walk somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. That's right. But I made up my mind, amen, I'm going to be like Paul. Because yeah. I know there's a crown of righteousness laid up for me. Oh, amen. I know God has a place for me. Amen. And that's what I look forward to. I don't look forward to anything else in this life. Amen. I'm 62 years old. I'm not worried about another job. I'm not worried about a career or any of other stuff. My mind is focused on me. Amen. Yes. amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. I just want to make it in. Yes, that's right. I just want to see him. And I want to be like him. Yeah. I want to know. Yes, amen. I want to know. Yes, amen. I, I want to be able to behold it and talk to him. Hallelujah. Too many prayer meetings. Too many fasts. Too, too much of being with God to walk away now. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Don't walk away now. We're too close. Yes, yes, Lord. Oh, taste and see yes. the Lord is good. Yes. Thank you, Lord. God wants to do good unto our saints. Yes. yes. It's like He told them a tongue interpretation. Yes. Just believe in the name. Yes. Call upon my name yes. and I will deliver you. Yes. Call upon my name and I shall guide your ways. Call upon the name of Jesus. Yes. Glory. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to your holy name. I'm on the highway. I just heard.